Hi, I'm Heather. I'm one of the artists here at the Magic of Disney Animation here at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida. Here at the Animation Academy, we show our guests how to draw dozens of characters from your favorite Disney animated films. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Stitch from Disney's Lilo and Stitch. He's one of my favorite characters, and I especially love that the film was made right here in this very building. Let's go. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with more of a half circle. We're going to start it right here in the middle of our paper. And we're going to use our shoulder and let it do all the work. So we're going to go from left to right and keep it very, 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 very light. So I want you to just kind of practice that for just a few times, back and forth. Okay, so about half of the size of a CD or a DVD. Okay, you can also think of a snow globe or an igloo that might help you out a little bit there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to draw a line from the left side to the right side at the bottom. So we're going to again use our shoulder and just draw straight across. Do it several times so we get comfortable with that line. And it's again, still stay very, very light. So once we get our igloo type shape here, we're going to go ahead and draw in the shape of his ears. His ears kind of look more like a capital D on the right side and a backwards capital D on the left side. So we're going to draw a straight line up and down. We're not going to go all the way up to the top of the paper. And we're going to go from the top of that ear and curve down to the bottom of his head. Go back and forth. Again, we're going to do it several times so we get comfortable with it. And on the left side, we're going to go straight up and down. Okay, we're going to use our shoulder. We're going to do our very best to get it on the same level as that right ear. And I'll show you a little trick here to kind of help you get it on the same level in just a second. So what I'm going to do is go from the top of the ear and curve down to the bottom of that ear. Okay, Got several times. Go ahead and get comfortable with that. Okay. Now we can look at the right ear. We can use our fingers and move across to the left side. So to make sure our ears are kind of lined up on the same level. You'll have lopsided ears. You can also take your pencil, kind of line it up across the top of the ears there too. That will help you out a little bit there. Okay, we're not gonna, we're gonna work with his ears a little bit later on, but we just wanna get the basics down first. We wanna go ahead and put our construction lines in. Our construction lines will help us with our facial features here. So I'm gonna go from the top of the head and we're gonna curve, uh, go straight down to the bottom of his head, nice and easy, keeping it light and keeping it loose. Okay. Now the horizontal line is going to be similar to that bottom of his head. I'm going to move it up about a third of the way. So I'm going to go left to right, right across that vertical guideline. So straight across. Use your shoulder. Let the shoulder do all the work. Nice and easy. And then we're going to look at the top of his head and come down about a third or so. And we're going to go left to right. Okay. I'm going to go straight across, keeping it very light and very loose. Okay, so we still have no dark lines in there whatsoever right now. So what we want to do now is go ahead and figure out where his nose is going to be, and that's the center of your face. Now his nose to me kind of looks like a guitar pick, and I like to say guitar because Stitch likes to play the guitar. Um, and he loves Elvis music. So we're going to actually go halfway between the two horizontal lines, right about here in this area. And I just want you to kind of do very, very light curved lines right across that vertical guideline. The bottom of your nose is going to hit that bottom horizontal line. So we want it to be round the top 
and kind of angled at the bottom, kind of like the bottom of a heart and the top of a circle. So we're gonna actually curve this together, keeping it very light. Okay. And bring this around on the right side too. Just make it messy with lots of sketchy lines. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place in his nostrils too. So what I'm actually gonna do so on the left side of your, your nose, you're gonna curve in and come right into that vertical guideline, doing a little S curve, as they call it in animation. And on the right side, you're gonna curve up and right over to the right side of his nose. So again, another S curve. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how the cleanup artists actually trace over our lines. And you wanna keep it nice and smooth don't want to press down really hard when you darken in the lines. So just go back and forth, nice and easy. Get you that nice smooth line for the top of his nose. I'm going to come on the right side. Kind of get the roundness of his nose in there. We don't want to flatten out stitch his nose. And on the left side, kind of do the same thing. Okay. I want to make sure I complete the rest of his nose there so you don't want to have a gap right there. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to trace over his nostrils. And the same thing on the left side too as well. So now what we want to do is shade in his nostrils. You can shade in the whole inside of the nostril if you want, or you can go in there and shade in the inside part of the nostril a little bit darker and right beside it get a little bit lighter so you can kind of see, looks like you can see through his nose. It kind of gives you a little texture there. So we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Kind of shade in, in the side just a little bit darker and get a little bit lighter right beside it. So now what we want to do is go ahead and give him some wrinkles because Stitch is really cute. He's got those cute little doll wrinkles above his nose. So we're going to go up above the top of the nose, keep the same curve, left to right, back and forth. And then I'm going to go just up above that and draw in another curved line. Just a little bit shorter than the one on the bottom. Now what we want to do is go ahead and place in his eyes. So we're going to go on the right side of the, the nose. Give a little bit of space between the side of the eye and the side of the nose. You want to take the top of his eye and let that touch the top horizontal line. The right side of his eye will touch the right side of his head. And then the bottom of his eye will do a curved line back and forth like a smiley face. So what you can do is just piece this together like playing connect the dots. So just kind of piece it in. Just keep it light and loose until you're feeling confident with it and then you can darken it in right after that. So always sketch it in first just in case we need to adjust it. So we're going to do the same thing on the left side. And we just start just to the left of the nose. Make sure you leave a little bit of space there. The top of the eye, once again, needs to touch the top horizontal line. The left side of that eye touches the, the side of his head. And then the bottom of his eye will touch that bottom horizontal line. And you can do a smiley face line right there. Okay. And then we're going to bring all these together. We're we'll sketch it out first to kind of get the idea down, and then we'll go over that line several times to make it darker and make that line smoother too as well. Get that in there. Okay. So now what we want to do is go ahead and place in Stitch's eyes. Now his pupils are going to be closer to the bottom part of his eyes. It's going to look more like a teardrop shape. We're going to have it point toward that nose. So I'm going to go ahead and put the point in there 
point toward the bottom part of the nose. And on the right side, kind of have the point of the teardrop shape point toward the bottom of the nose. So what I want to do is do a little curves line opposite of that point to kind of help you with that teardrop shape. And on the, on the right side, do a curves line opposite of that point. And you're going to bring all of this together in one shape. Go ahead and sketch it out. Bring it in there nice and easy. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and sketch out an oval at the top part of each pupil, and that will give Stitch that little highlight in his eye. Go ahead and sketch that out on the right side as well. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of tidy up the line right here for the pupil, kind of smooth out that line nice and easy. And the same thing on the right side. We'll smooth out that line. Okay. Once we get that in there, we're going to go ahead and place in Stitch's eyebrows. Now, the Stitch's eyebrows curve just like the top of the eyes. So we go on the left side of the eye. You're going to curve up and around into that horizontal line. So you're going to do the same thing on the right side. You're going to curve on the right side of the head, just straight, curve straight up above the horizontal line and let it stop right there at the horizontal line. So now what we want to do is kind of trace over the top part of his head. And we're going to give him a little bit of fur sticking up. He's only got three pieces of fur sticking up. One goes up, one goes to the side, and one goes down. So you want to make it look a little bit different to make it look a little more interesting too. So on the top part, curve up, come down. We're going to go out to the side. Come down, and then go down. And we're going to trace over the right side of his head there, between the eyebrow and the fur. Now we'll give him that cute little fur, because he's supposed to look cute and adorable, too, because he's kind of like a dog and an alien at the same time. <laughs> uh, so what we want to do, look at the bottom of his nose. I'm going to draw... Just a little vertical line on top of the really light line that we did earlier. And I want to put his smile somewhere in between those two horizontal lines. So you can use the horizontal lines as a reference if you need to. And I'm actually am going to make that line kind of curve a little bit to make it a little bit easier for you. So we're going to go in the middle only at first. Just draw long strokes. Keep those lines very, very loose. And that will also help your line quality too if you use long strokes. And that's also something that's really cool to practice with. Bring this over to the right side. And we're going to let it touch that top horizontal line. So we want to put the little dimple right there at that top horizontal line curving up so it looks like he's happy. He wants this to be happy. And on the left side, you're going to bring this over to the top horizontal line, and you're going to draw in a dimple right there. And then right underneath your upper lip, you're going to draw in a small line for just a little bit, of, just a hint at that bottom lip right there at the horizontal line at the bottom. And then we can trace over the side of his head, make sure it goes around that dimple. Try not to touch that dimple. So you can use one of those sketchy lines you did earlier and bring this over and down into the, the bottom of his head. Down around that dimple and bring it over into the middle. Okay. So now what we want to do, we look at that pupil. You want to come down past the smile. Right here in this area, you're going to draw in a parenthesis line. 
and go ahead and sketch that out. And the same thing on the right side, look around the pupil area. Come down past the smile, we're going to draw a curved line right underneath that smile. Okay. I'm going to let the line kind of hang loose there to kind of give you that illusion that his body will be underneath. So we'll work on his ears now, and I think uh, his cow, his ears kind of look more like a cow's ears to me. Um, so it's kind of loose, and it's a little more of an S curve. So I look at the bottom corner of that D, and I'm going to curve into that D and over to the flat side and round off that corner. So we're going to kind of go ahead and sketch that out first. Go up, over to the flat side, round off that corner. When you get home, you can actually erase these lines right here at the top. Then you can trace over the curve of the D, still keeping it light. Let's kind of get the idea down first. Now, again, keep in mind at the bottom of Stitch's ears, he has that little cutout in his ear. So I like to think of it kind of like a Pat Man cutout. Um, something, you know, it comes in like a V maybe. And it comes right back down to that point. Okay, so just make sure you create that for stitch. And then what I want to do is go over that line and kind of smooth it out. Play around with my lines and have some lines a little bit thicker in areas too. Okay, we're going to just trace over this ear too. So what I want to do now, we want to put in a little S curve between the side of the head and the side of the ear. So I'm just going to go ahead and create that in there. And do the same thing on the left side. We're going to look at the bottom corner of your D. We're going to curve up, making a backwards S here, round off that corner at the top. And trace over the curve of your D. And then we're going to do a little cutout in his ear. Come in and curve down your D over to the, the bottom. Remember, we want to do the little S curve between the side of his head to that ear. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and quickly darken in the rest of his ear, kind of smooth that out. All right. So all we have to do now is do a really quick shading of his pupils and his nose and maybe some of the outside portions of him. So what we're going to do we're going to go from top left corner to bottom right corner. We're not concerned in getting every white space. Just gonna go ahead and shade that in. And if you press down a little bit harder on one side, you kind of show a little bit of a highlight in there too as well. So I'm gonna go back over that line, fix that up, and then do the same thing on the right side. Go from top left corner, bottom right corner, and get that shading in there. Also want to shade in his nose, but make sure you keep it a little bit lighter than his pupils, because it's a dark blue. So you can take the top of your nose. And quickly go down to the bottom. And you can use the side of your pencil to shade in the larger areas. So you start with the, make sure you go around his eyes and around his little chin here. Shade that in there. Nice and easy. I'm gonna shade that in on the outside of his ear too as well. And then the last step that we do to all of our drawings is make sure that we sign our artwork somewhere on the bottom of your paper. So we'll go ahead, put our names on it. And highly recommend dating your drawings so you can go back and you can practice it 
and you can see your first stitch and you can see your fifth stitch and you can see your improvement and that's very, very important. So there you go, that's Stitch from Disney's Lilo and Stitch. Come see me and my fellow artists here at the Animation Academy at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Thanks for drawing with me today and aloha!